let's discuss about assets management in this video by assets i mean the images the css and all javascript file where are those files and how you can uh, uh, reference them in your file as i said previously all your css will be in the public folder here the js you can have your image folder here to put uh, your images also your favicon the index the robots that that txt also here but the, the next thing you should know in laravel is that they have another file here in the asset in the resources assets folder here we have javascript we have a uh, sas here and we have some files here if you view this one inside this one they are going to use something called uh, they are using the view js library so if i open this one do you have all your javascript here and all your bootstrap here it is not the two the twitter bootstrap bootstrap means every say uh, we include all the javascript file here as you can see by default they include load uh, include the low dash the popper js and the bootstrap the, this is the twitter bootstrap they include jquery and they include the xus they are using uh, xus2 by default they use xus because uh, some people might use this one and there are some extra code here for now we, we we don't need to discuss these things but the thing you should know is that they use something called laravel mix if i come here this is webpack.mix.js this is the laravel mix file they use webpack of course and this is how it works if I come and open the package.json as you can see here you run a command a script command like npm run div it will run this command this command exists here and this command will run another command something like that run div div will come here and run this command uh, this is a uh, multi-line commands it what it is going to do is it will go and read the webpack file here when it read the webpack file it says that inside the resource asset js app.js we have our file compile all those file to this directory and compile all the sas file to this directory this is the basically that easy it means you can write your sas and it will automatically compile your css you can write your javascript and es6 code in this directory and once you run the command here the php or some div it will compile it will use the babel to compile all the es6 uh, code to the public directory once you have done that you can reference the files from the public you cannot reference them from the assets from here that's why you have all, all your assets here so uh, if you open the package.json here they have the xus bootstrap popper.js the env the cross env javascript and laravel mix here plus view vue.js here by default they have the vue.js you can use the react or any other framework but by default they have the view because it is uh, uh, very fast easy and flexible that's why they use by default and the next thing you should know about uh, this is that you can have your all your component with view if you know about vue.js you have your component by default an example component here when you compile your file they will use this one to compile all your file plus you have the languages then the languages uh, as you can see we have english you can create another folder and translate your application if you are uh, developing the application in any other language you can have your uh, all your file here for example for the validation of course they have the a very nice validation system in laravel means if you do not have a valid data they will send you a server validation error and all of those error will display these messages but if you are developing your application in different language like french persian arabic or any other language you need to change all those data because you are not sending the in english version of that this is where you are going to change all of those data and it will change that it will rewrite all the default code here so this is it about asset management and uh, i don't think if there is a uh, yeah the the else thing you should know that in our view app.build.php we use the asset and the asset will of course reference to asset here you can use the asset to display images too 
so it will go to the CSS and app and it will grab all those files if I open this one as you can see it has the bootstrap 4 and it is compressed version you don't need to do anything for this one and that's it and see you in the next video